Hey, guess what? I'm actually in this movie. <laughs> I'm so wasted. I'm sponsored by God. Unplanned is a movie directed by Carrie Solomon and Chuck Konzelman, and it stars Ashley Batcher, Brooks Ryan, Robiah Scott, and Jared Lotz, and a whole bunch of other people that you've probably never heard of. Now, I said at the beginning of this review that I was actually in this movie, and I was. Uh, Unplanned, a good portion of it was shot in Stillwater, Oklahoma, which is where I live right now. It was shot last year. And it was actually one of the first uh, projects I was a part of um, since I kind of got into the whole acting thing. I was hired as, as an extra. And uh, if you watch the movie, you will see that I am, in fact, in the movie. Uh, you, I'm in the, I, I am visible in the background uh, several times, actually. So, um, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's, I guess that's, uh, you know, uh, one reason to go see the movie. Although I don't think that should be the reason to go see the movie at all. But it's just a fun fact. Um, but anyways, to get the actual review of Unplanned, um, Unplanned is about the story of Abby Johnson, who was one of the youngest Planned Parenthood uh, clinic directors in history, and I believe it was the early 2000s, uh, and she was there for eight years, and she had never actually seen an abortion procedure happen. And then she was called into a room one day to assist in an abortion and she saw what actually happens and she freaked out and uh, quit Planned Parenthood uh, and joined uh, a prayer group that uh, protests outside of uh, um, the Planned Parenthood uh, clinic. Pretty compelling story and it's a true story. And I have to say, it is a must-see movie um, and uh, let me explain why. Because uh, the movie does have flaws, um, no doubt, and uh, there are parts of it that are, I don't think, very well done. But the parts in this movie that needed to be well done were well done. Like, very, very well. Um, you know, this is a very device, this will be a very divisive movie, naturally, um, given the nature of the fact that it has to do with abortion. And uh, it's so obviously it's going to be very controversial. But uh, yeah, I going into the movie, even though I was a part of the movie, I didn't know what to expect. Um, uh, the one of the directors who was responsible for the movie, Kerry uh, Solomon, he had directed one of the God's Not Dead movies, or maybe he was a writer on it. And I'm not a very big fan of those movies. I don't think they're very well done. I don't think there's much nuance to them. Um, and so I was. I mean, I met I met Kerry Solomon whenever I was on set. Uh, for this movie, and he seemed like a really nice guy, and everything. And I was, I remember thinking, I was like, man, I hope, I hope he does better with this one. Um, and that's no insult to Carrie if he's watching, but I just, this story was far more important than any other story that he had produced uh, as of yet. And I did not want him to screw it up, because uh, I think this story needs to be, to be heard, and, um, I think overall the movie is really, really quite good. Let me get into the specifics of what I really liked. Number one, the lead, Ashley Batcher. Really, really good. Really good performance. Um, she was, I mean, she was a great leading, uh, great leading lady, and you, every single dramatic scene, extremely well done on her part. I was very impressed with her. Um, some of the other acting in the movie, uh, I think was mixed. Uh, there were some, good actors and not so uh, good actors. The woman who played the Planned Parenthood um, actual like uh, chief executive or whatever, I don't know, if, yeah, something like that. She was pretty good. I felt like she came off a little heavy handed at certain points in the movie, but I thought overall she was really quite good. Um, the two, I guess, main characters who uh, stood outside of the Planned Parenthood clinic and protested silently and peacefully um, to uh, in in somewhat uh, in opposition to the uh, very angry other protesters that were saying you know uh, you're killing your babies and all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, this one prayer group, which I which is the part of the movie that I'm in, I'm I'm a part of the the prayer peaceful protesters. I'm not a, a part of the uh, the angry screaming ones, uh, although they definitely had a much more fun time on set because they got to actually move around and yell stuff. But uh, but no, uh, the the two uh, leaders of the 40 uh, Days for Life march uh, 
really, really good as well. Really good performances. Um, and overall, yeah, like I said, the acting was a mix of some actually like really great acting to some good acting and to some not so good acting. But one of the things you have to remember with this movie is uh, no one else was going to make this movie. This movie is very controversial and uh, in case you haven't noticed, Hollywood is not really uh, known to be the place where um, uh, pro-life movies are made. And so uh, this, this movie, you know, they did they didn't have a whole lot of resources and they worked with what they had and they they found a lot of good found a lot of good actors and a lot of good performances and uh i saw some people in the movie who i actually had worked with after the movie and i didn't uh, sarah rinali i saw you um but uh but no like the performances were overall uh you know yeah a mixed bag but where the performances that really really mattered really really good um other things i really liked about the movie uh the the scenes where it actually the actual abortion clinic scenes where they're performing abortions and everything having to do with that it really well directed just really well directed i was very impressed because i was like you can't you can't just you can't you can't you know be an idiot about this you i mean you've got to you've got to make you've got to do those scenes accurately and they did do them accurately uh, to how they're actually done. Um, do your research after this review, after you watch the movie. Trust me, they did them accurately. Um, but uh, it was, I don't know, I was just very, um, I was very impressed with uh, particularly those very intense dramatic scenes. The directing and the acting was really, really solid. Um, and the way the story was told, I was very impressed by as well. The movie moved very well. Um, after Abby ended up leaving Planned Parenthood, there was it lulled for a little bit, but then it got it picked right back up. Um, but overall, the, the the story of the movie was I thought very well told, very well directed. There were were some choices in the movie that I think uh, were not so good, and I guess I'll just talk about those. Um, there were too many songs in the movie, too many like melodramatic songs uh, that I think actually took away from some of the uh, emotional scenes. Um, I don't know why there were so many songs in this movie, but uh, I don't. I think it made the movie feel cheaper than it actually was, so that was one thing I didn't like so much. Uh, and then also um, uh, some of the small talk scenes, like when characters are being funny or just making small talk. Some of them were actually quite good. I will say that some of them were pretty bad, actually. Um, but guys, the reason I'm making, you know, I haven't really reviewed movies, current movies, very. Uh, uh, frequently, uh, as of late, I've I reviewed Captain Marvel, uh, and that and before that it was uh, it's been months since I had reviewed a uh, current movie. Um, but this one I not only wanted to review because I'm in it, uh, but because I think this movie is a very important movie for people to go out and see, and I was very pleased by what I saw in it. And uh, ultimately, to you out there who are, whether you're pro-choice or pro-life, go see Unplanned. Go and see Unplanned. It is, uh, I think, a very important movie for people to go see on both sides of the aisle. See Unplanned. Don't, uh, you know, don't shy away from it. Go if you're pro-choice. Go if you're pro-life. Um, it's really something. And afterwards, after the movie, research it, research the story, okay? And then type in on YouTube or wherever it is that you're searching arguments for, uh, pro, just type in pro-life arguments. And then after you've researched those, type in pro-choice arguments or vice versa. Point is, this issue, abortion, is a very big issue. And it is one that people need to actually look at. There's a reason why we're still talking about it, even though Roe vs. Wade was 73, 1973. I believe it was 73, but it could be wrong. It could be 63. I can't remember. But there's a reason why we're talking about it. There's a reason why half of the country is pro-life, and there's a reason why half the country is pro-choice. There's a reason why pro-life people have not disappeared. Uh, and I think Unplanned illustrates that reason extremely well. If you are curious as to my views uh, on abortion and that sort of thing, uh, considering the fact that I was an extra in the movie, I think that gives you a good idea. Um, but yeah, like ultimately, 
Uh, I'm not really going to give a score for this movie, like a letter grade, um, since I'm biased because I'm in it, but I would say it is a must-see movie. I think it's an important movie to see, and I think um, it will challenge you if you're pro-choice. It will... Uh, if you're pro-life, it will also, it did, it, the movie, I, it did, it had a lot of nuance in it, which was very, I was very impressed with. It, it like, because they gave a lot of, uh, I mean, they acknowledged that a lot of people have really good intentions who are pro-choice. They acknowledged that, and they illustrated it very well. They also illustrated the, uh, contradictions and that sort of things, and those sorts of things, but they did a really good job, and I, I, I was very impressed with the way they approached uh, this particular issue through this story. I mean, they told the true story as it is, uh, and you know, the true story as it is kind of uh, the book unplanned that this is based off of uh, shows the nuances of everything. But I was I didn't know if the movie would do that, and the movie did a great job. It was a very nuanced movie, in my opinion. Obviously, it was a pro-life movie. Um, but man, oh man, it, I was very impressed by uh, how it was not, it was not portraying everybody who is pro-choice as evil. And it wasn't portraying everyone who is pro-life as righteous. They address the fact that there have been some pro-life people who have killed pro-choice, you know, or like abortion doctors, that sort of thing. And they address that in the movie. And I thought they addressed it very well. Um, I, I mean, I gotta be honest, it, it, it was a very impressive movie, and like I said, like, they, they showed, they even showed how, um, the way to address this issue, and they was, this was a critique of pro-life people in the movie, and this is, this happened in reality, but it was, it, they showed it. There was one group of protesters that hold, held up signs, that dressed up as the Grim Reaper, and held up signs saying abortion is murder, and they called all these names to all the abortion workers and to the women who were going into the abortion clinics. And then there was the uh, group of peaceful uh, uh, prayer uh, protesters who were very polite, very kind, uh, very positive, and they showed that contrast, and they showed that obviously the anger and the uh, condemnation and the just the unwillingness to uh, dialogue is not the way to go. And they did. They just point is just go see the movie. Just go see the movie. Make up your own mind. Research it. Come to your own conclusion about this issue. Because personally, I think this is the great issue of our time, um, and I think. It really, it's an issue that whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, if you haven't made, if you're like, have not looked at the arguments, that's, I'm, that's lazy. You need to look at them. This is an issue it, that is never going to go away. And I think it is as great of an issue as uh, all of the horrible issues of the past three centuries. Um, that includes, you know, slavery, the Holocaust, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and I think that uh, it is the responsibility of everybody in America to come to a conclusion for themselves and to actually look at what is there on both sides. Because this is a very important issue. And I think everybody out there, who every, I think you would all agree it's a very important issue, whether you're pro-choice or pro-life. And um, unplanned... I gotta say, it was, it was a really well done movie, um, and yes, there were flaws. Obviously, um, it was not a perfect movie, but as I said before, I mean, no one and no one was gonna make this movie except for the people that made this movie. I mean, I they this movie did not have very much funding. It, I mean, it, and there were actors and actresses who initially auditioned for it and then I bailed on it because I was I remember I talked to the Carrie Solomon guy and he said we had great actresses and actors who auditioned and then they realized it was a pro-life movie and they just jumped ship because they were afraid of being blacklisted and I gotta say uh, props to all the people that were involved in this movie the stars and the and the directors uh, you guys have balls um, and uh, you did a good job even though, yes, obviously there were, I think there were flaws with the movie, but where the movie needed to count, it counted. And um, that's really all I have to say about Unplanned, guys. Um, go and see it. It's a must-see. 
I will probably continue to talk about this movie because I think it really is a very important movie for people to see. It's very nuanced. It's very nuanced on the subject of just how women deal with abortion. It it because it's about a woman who had actually had abortions before she uh, became a clinic person for Planned Parenthood, and that's part of the reason why she kept being a clinic person for Planned Parenthood up until she actually saw an abortion procedure happen right in front of her. Um, it, it, the movie is really nuanced and I think it's really important. Go and see it. Uh, if you're curious as, you know, if you want my opinion on how good I was in the movie, even though I was barely in the movie, I was just in the background, um, I gotta be honest, I was kind of a shitty extra. <laughs> I mean, I, I stood out a little bit too much and I think I moved too much. Perhaps that's something only I will notice because it's me. But uh, yeah, I didn't think I was the greatest of all time. That's for sure. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have seen Unplanned, please tell me what you thought of it in the comments section below. I know this issue is particularly divisive and there will probably be a lot of comments that are angry or... Or, yeah, I'm just probably angry from both sides. Try and keep it civil, guys. But uh, please leave any comments or questions you have in the comments section below. I'd love to take a look at them. And um, as always, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And never forget to be... Mm -hmm.